Okay, last two cases. Now we talked about par value stock, no par value stock, stated value. Now other, other than collecting cash, sometimes business and business transactions, they may be issuing stock in exchange for other type of assets. Okay, so the idea here, everything else is the same except that sometimes we're not just raising capital from the public by cash. Sometimes this could be an exchange transaction that our company issues stock to another business in exchange for a building or land, other type of assets, uh, additional to cash alone. So all the other, the majority of the examples that you would see for this chapter is issuing stock in exchange for cash alone, raising capital. But sometimes business to business, they can also in exchange for other type of assets, not just cash alone. Okay, so this is an example that if Smart Touch company receives a building, then they exchange common stock for a building that worth $20 million. By issuing stock, the stock has a par value $1. And again, we consider the differences between the value of the asset that we are receiving compared to the face value of the stock, which is a million dollars. Differences is under the premium account. Okay, so earlier we were considering issue price and the difference between issue price and face value. Here we're just considering building's market value compared against common stock's face value. And again, if there's differences, it's considered a premium in this exchange transaction. Okay, so for these problems, the, for these exercise problems, you would see the um, problem states, what is the market value for the asset the company is receiving? It could be equipment, machinery, that will tell you the market value for the asset. And you just compare that with face value times the number of shares that you're giving to the other company. And there's differences and there's premium under this transaction. If it's coincidentally the same, then you don't have a premium account. 